So now let's use completing the square to solve a problem that's not so nice. 3x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0. So the first thing you need to know is that before we complete the square, we need to have a leading coefficient of 1. Currently, as you'll see, our leading coefficient is 3. So to make that be a 1, what we're going to do is divide both sides by the whatever the leading coefficient currently is. So for us, that's going to be 3. So divide both sides by 3. Here we go. When we divide the left side, the 3 goes under each term on the left side. You can think about it like multiplying the, the left side by 1 third and then distributing it, if that helps. Then we'll reduce each of those that can be reduced. Gets us to x squared plus 5 thirds x minus 2 equals 0. It's still a 0 on the right-hand side. 0 divided by 3 is still 0. So then the techniques we were using is we're going to move our constant term over to the right, leave the space open to put our new constant term in so that we can get a perfect square trinomial on the left-hand side. So here we go. Move the 2, leave the space. So in this space that we've left, I need to put the correct constant term so that I will get a perfect square trinomial on the left-hand side. So what that constant term is, is half of the linear term. So here's my linear term because it's x to the first. Half of the linear coefficient squared. So that's 5 sixths squared. And that goes here. And then I need to put it on both sides so that I balance. And it gets added in. So plus 5 sixths squared on both sides. Okay. Now, the left side factors. So that's what we need to do. And it's going to factor into a binomial squared. That's why we chose that special number to go into my constant term. x in the first spot, that leading coefficient had to be 1, the sine of the linear term. And now this last part, especially when it's a fraction, it's sometimes tricky to figure out. But it's whatever was in the parentheses before you square it. So x plus 5 sixths squared, if you square that out, you would get what we have up here. On the right-hand side, we have to do a little arithmetic. So let's see. 2 plus 25 over 36, which means we need a common denominator. So it's going to go fast. So to make this under 36, the top would be a 72. Trust me on that one. So we get 97 over 36. So at this stage, I have that special form for, for extracting a root. Something squared equals a constant term. So go ahead and square root both sides. Remember that when we square root both sides, we need to include a plus minus on one of the sides. Notice what happened on the left. The square root and the squaring canceled. It just gives you that x plus 5 sixths. And then on the right, it looks like we can tidy a bit. We're not done. The instructions that I didn't write are solve. And when the instructions are solve, you're not done until you have x equals, and I'm not there yet. So I have x plus 5 sixths equals plus or minus. I'm going to break up the radical, one for the top, one for the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and simplify the bottom, because the square root of 36 is 6. And then final step to get x by itself would be to subtract 5 sixths from both sides. So negative 5 over 6 plus or minus the square root of 97 over 6. Notice my 6 didn't sneak under that radical. Don't let it under. Or you might write that 5 plus or negative 5 plus or minus 6 since they have the same denominator. Either one of those is an appropriate answer.